this is your stimulus check, second stimulus check update, July 31st. The Senate has adjourned, which means there's no active talks between the Senate and the House of Democrats. So that means that we're about to go into the weekend. Two critical days. Two days that are gonna cut off because tomorrow is August 1st and Sunday is August 2nd. So they have Monday through Friday to hammer out a deal before they go on a month long vacation. I want you to think about that. Five days, they couldn't get this worked out in three months and they gotta get it worked out in five days. We have the distinct possibility of not having a second stimulus package put together before Friday and then we gotta wait another month because Money Mitch said we going on vacation. We're gonna keep our calendar, we're gonna keep our schedule, we're not going to. And Nancy Pelosi said, look, hey, we're not gonna go on vacation, let's stay in session, let's hammer this thing out, and it's going to be interesting. Now, I've started doing these stimulus check videos because there, there's really gonna be a stimulus check at some point in the future, but I will not be making videos about a stimulus check update when they're on vacation because nothing's going to happen. So what, where's the big disconnect? Trump has, Trump, Petty Donald, is in the world of hurt, he's in the world of trouble. He understands that his polling numbers are down. He understands that many states that he won easily have turned and it is just a matter of time because let me go ahead and talk to you about mail-in voting. I have gone ahead and put together my mail-in ballot. I've already sent my information in, so I'm gonna get a ballot, I'm gonna fill it out, and I'm gonna send it in. And I urge you to do mail-in voting so you're not exposed to the Rona. But Donald Trump has made many concessions. He wants to give Americans, that's you, a larger stimulus check because Donald know he needs some juice with the American people to get reelected. And it doesn't look like it's in the cars because unless things go horribly awry, and once again, we have August, September, and October, so we have 90 days for a lot of things to happen, Donald Trump will not be our president this time next year. However, petty, Donald is gonna pull out all of the stops. He's gonna pull out all of the conspiracy theories. He is going to talk about whatever he can and he has the audacity to go on Twitter and talk about postponing the election. Fortunately, that is not in his power. He can't do that. Essentially, this would take a lot of things to make that happen. We would have to be at war. We would have to have a lot of things going on. So that ain't gonna happen. And we will have the election as scheduled. Also, Donald has broken with the payroll uh, deductions. And he's also broken with the Republican Party with mandatory um the mandatory placed in identification, essentially you can't employ, sue your employers if you get the Rona and get sick. So they're putting in this protection. Donald's willing to let that go because Donald is desperate. He is really, really desperate. So what is going on with the economy? Unemployment is going up. Walmart is laying off hundreds of employees. Now, what is really interesting about Walmart laying off hundreds of employees? Walmart has made record profits during the pandemic. Walmart did not shut down. Walmart was open. Walmart was selling every day in the stores and online. This goes back to the coming hostile economic climate that I talked about in a previous live stream. Walmart doesn't have to lay these people off. 
Walmart is choosing to lay these people off because Walmart has figured out a way to be more effective, to make more money with less personnel, which means they don't have to pay these salaries. So the bottom line increases because they're doing more with less. Make no mistake, Walmart did not get hurt by this pandemic. If anything, Walmart's, Walmart, Target, Amazon, all of these companies made billions and billions of additional dollars because they were open and they were the best game in time. I mean, Amazon actually at a point was trying to disincentivize people from purchasing because their systems were being overwhelmed and stretched to the max. But Walmart, and you will see many, many more companies that are gonna do a Walmart move. They're gonna lay people off. They don't have to lay off because it's going to increase the bottom line. Welcome to the reduced stimulus games where the economy has shrunk 32.9%, where corporations like Walmart that made billions and billions of dollars during the pandemic and will continue to make billions of dollars are going to start getting rid of employees. I want you to hear, I want you to think about that. Walmart doesn't have to lay off anybody. Walmart is not suffering economically, but they're choosing. And you're going to see other corporations follow suit. And this is where many six figure managers are in trouble because during the pandemic with people working from home, companies got to see who was producing, who was doing their jobs, who were making money. And they were like, whoa, we don't really need Jill who's making $180,000 over here in the processing division because John, Julie, and George, who all make $50,000 a year, actually outperformed her to 5X. So Julie, bye-bye Julie. And this is what you're gonna see, which is gonna usher in another level of economic depression. Also, unemployment is starting to go up. For a long time, because back during the rolling pandemic, unemployment was 6.6 .6 million people per week. Then it dropped down to 1.5. Then it dropped down to 1.3. And at 1.3, it stayed. It did not go down to a hundred, few hundred thousand. It stayed at 1.3. Then it went up to 1.4. Now it's almost back to 1.5. Companies are still laying people off, which, is going to continue to stress and stretch the unemployment insurance funds. And many states are starting to run out of money or some states have already run out of money. And the next move is to tap the federal unemployment insurance fund. And last recession, 36 states had to tap into that. We have been in this situation for three months and X amount of states are already out of money and they're having to tap into the federal unemployment insurance thing. And we still have a constant stream of people being laid off. It's not looking good. It is not looking good. It's not looking good from a second stimulus package because as I predicted that they were not going to get this done and I predicted that the $600 unemployment insurance thing was going to go away. This is another strong prediction. Unless someone lights a fire under the Senate, we're going to roll into September without another stimulus package because political calculation, it behooves Donald Trump, the closer that they get to the election, the closer that the checks are released and that are really close to the election, the better it is for him. We may actually be sitting here talking, like I said, after Friday, if there's no stimulus package, I am not going to do stimulus update videos because they're going to be on vacation. Nothing's going to be happening. There's no point. I'm just going to do other content, but I will be doing stimulus updates Monday through Friday, and we will be talking about what is going to happen with the economy because here it is America. I've been preaching this for the last 10 years. And this week I've had some really interesting consults. 
I've had like 10 consults and I've had consults with people who got the PPP money, some people got the SBA loans, and we're working on plans to grow their businesses. This is what you need to do if you're in the position. If you don't have any money and you're broke, go below, get 30 days to 2,500, go below, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success and really go through this course about 10 times and start making some money for you and your family. That's my gift from me to you. Now, if you're in a better situation, go ahead and get ultimate money or book a financial tune-up phone call. Now, what do we do during the financial tune-up? I'm going to look at your finances and make suggestions on things you need to do. And this has been one of the biggest issues that many of the people who have called me this week, the 10 people I've talked to, uh, only two had a long-term emergency fund. No one had a long-term emergency fund. No one had a short, you know, one person had a long-term emergency fund, but most people did not have the long-term emergency fund. They did not have the short-term emergency fund. They did not have the family operating account. And essentially, uh, I think six of the people got the loan. So they've got money and they've got excess funds, but be sure to go below and get ultimate money. America, we have a problem with spending. America, we ha have an addiction to credit. And also what has happened is 70 million Americans saw their credit card accounts closed. And an X amount of millions of America saw their credit limit slashed. So if your emergency plan is to depend upon your credit card or your good credit score, it may not be there when you need the money and you need to go ahead and start storing and stacking cash. Once again, storing and stacking cash. You know, I, I've got people who are on this Bitcoin thing and all and this gold and silver. If you do not have a long-term emergency fund, you do not have a short-term emergency fund, you do not have your family operating account, you have no business buying gold, silver, or Bitcoin. They're speculative investments where you can lose a lot of money. I had booked a consulting call with a guy who bought Bitcoin at the top of the market and he lost $190,000. Bitcoin is on the rise. Bitcoin is 11,000. 11, and if you bought it when it was 3,000, you've made gains of almost $8,000. I suggest that you sell right now because it will crash again. It's gonna go up, it's gonna crash, it's gonna go up, it's gonna crash. Because essentially, let's talk about Bitcoin. Essentially, there are what's called Bitcoin whales, and it's a handful of individuals or corporations that own a lot of Bitcoin. Do you know that one whale, just one whale, can move the entire Bitcoin market? One. They don't have to get together and have a whale meeting. One can actually sell or move his, essentially when a whale moves like 400 Bitcoin to a new wallet, the whole Bitcoin community goes crazy and this impacts price. Be careful with an investment where one individual can completely move the market up or down and disrupt your Bitcoin holdings. One, one person can do that. And also, let's have this conversation. If you had a side hustle that made you an additional $500 per month, we're not talking thousands, we're not talking tens, an additional $500 per month, which will come up to be an additional $6,000 per year, that is a better investment for you than Bitcoin. And it's a better investment for you than silver or gold because it's cash money you can put in your pocket and you can put in your life and you can use or you can use that money for investments. So once again, before you start trying to invest into something, you should have a long term emergency fund. You should have a short term emergency fund. You should have your family operating account and you should be debt free. Many people are hustling backwards. Many people are trying to get into these exotic, esoteric investments, and they haven't even done the fundamentals. And how important are the fundamentals? Let's go back to the Fab Five. Back in the day, when I was in, I think, high school, Michigan had five 
actually six extremely athletically gifted basketball players. And they were amazing, they were fun to watch, they brought a certain level of swag to basketball, and they went up against Duke. Michigan, from a talent standpoint, had 10 to 20 times as much talent as Duke, and they ran into Duke, which was fundamentally sound, and Duke beat them in the national championship. So that's a lesson in fundamentals. You could be all swagged out and you could be hip and you could be cool, but if you're not fundamentally sound, you're going to lose money, you're gonna lose the big game, and you're gonna have egg on your face, just like the Fab Five did, because uh, Christopher Weber tried to call a timeout when they didn't have timeout, so they got a foul. I think they got a technical. I don't understand, you know, I don't know basketball like that, but essentially it wasn't good to call a timeout when you were out of timeouts. And this is what many people are doing. I suggest that you subscribe to Savage Finance where you can get financially literate, subscribe to the channel and begin and go and go to the video tab and begin watching the first videos up into the second videos. Uh, many of the people who book consults with me told me they watch Savage Finance, Hustlers Kung Fu every day. So to you guys, I appreciate the support. Thank you for the love. And you should begin to dive into Savage Finance. I'm getting ready to do some esoteric girl, you know, content, like more content, like if your girlfriend's expensive, um, you need to get rid of her, which was very controversial, which had a lot of women up in their feelings. But let's keep it a buck. Many men spend too much money on fun. And if you're spending 500 to 1,000 bucks in a strip club and you don't have a long-term emergency fund, will be you when an emergency happens because you have the money you're just mismanaging it you are not using the money the way that you should because like i believe in having fun if you want to go to the strip club after you have your emergency fund after you have your short-term emergency fund after you have your family operating account after you're debt free and you want to go drop some debt some dollars on tiffany b She's a YouTuber, check her out. She's very, very attractive and she has a lovely personality. Fine, but until then, you have no business up in the strip club. You have no business buying chicks um, red bottoms. You have no business doing any of that if your financial house is shaggy or janky. If your financial house is janky, you need to fix that before you go out here and start splurging and spending money on these chicks. Because there are many guys who want to ball and they have not done the financial fundamentals. They have not put together anything. They have no assets, they have no financial devices, they have no income producing, they have nothing and they're out there blowing their money. So stop that and get your financial house in order. All right, so go below, get what you need, everything's below. And also, if you need a bank account, because the video's coming on Savage Finance that's gonna talk about banking, go below and get Oxygen Bank. It's a referral link. If you sign up for Oxygen Bank, I get $25 and you get $25 after you fund your account with 200 bucks and you use the debit card five times. So, that is your stimulus update your second stimulus package update july 31st 2020. i told y'all they were gonna do this i told y'all they were gonna do this and there's a very good chance that we will not have a second stimulus package before they go on vacation for a month we literally have five days so that's all i have for you guys go below and get this next video